Joshua next. Joshua commissioned, be strong and courageous. Rahab the prostitute harbors the two spies, so they spare her when they take over Jericho. Crossing the Jordan, the priests carrying the ark set foot, and then the water flowing upstream was cut off and stood up in a heap. Set up 12 memorial stones to remind them that when they walked across the Jordan River, it was dry and also Moses was able to cross the Red Sea. There was no water. Circumcision and Passover at Gilga. Men hadn't been circumcised in a while in the desert. Passover, they no longer needed the manna because the land of Canaan provided food for them. Joshua met the commander of the Lord's army who had a sword. Fall of Jericho, they walked around it and then it fell. Failed attack on Ai. Ai! Because of action sin of keeping the loot. Action replied, It is true, I have sinned against the Lord, the God of Israel. This is what I have done. When I saw in the plunder a beautiful robe of Babylonian, 200 shekels of silver and a wedge of gold, weighing 50 shekels, I coveted them and took them. They are hidden in the ground inside my tent with the silver underneath. Why have you brought this trouble on us? The Lord will bring trouble on you today. Then all Israel stoned him. And after they had stoned the rest, they burnt them. Oh. Joshua Taylor all used to Akron. All his possessions, his sons and his daughters, his cattle, his donkey, sheep. Oh, they stoned all of them and burnt them. They heaped them all up with rocks. Action died. And then after... A was destroyed because there was no sin in the community. It wasn't personal, it was communal. One sin would affect the rest of the community. Gibeonites deception and covenant. They trick them. They tell them they're not from around there. Da -da -da -da. Where is that? The men put worn and patched sandals on their feet and wore old clothes. All the bread of their food supply was dry and moldy. They went to Joshua. We have come from distant land to make treaty with us. The men of Israel said to the Hivites, But perhaps you live near us. How then can we make a treaty with you? We are your servants. Who are you and where do you come from? Your servants have come from a very distant land because of the fame of the Lord your God, for we have heard reports of him. The men of Israel sampled the provisions, but did not inquire of the Lord. Then Joshua made a treaty of peace with them to let them live. Three days after they made the treaty, without inquiring of the Lord, Israelites heard that they were neighbors and living near them. The whole assembly grumbled against the leaders, but the leaders answered, We have given them our oath by the Lord, the God of Israel. We cannot touch them now. So the Gibeonites were successful. March to Gibeon to help. March to Gibeon to help. Why have you deceived us? Da -da. Your servants were clearly told. So Joshua saved them from the Israelites and they did not kill them. Okay. So Joshua intervened. That day he made the Gibeonites woodcutters and water carriers. Uh, da -da. Uh, here, here. This is where... They marched to Gibeon to help. Is that it? Marched to Gibeon to help. Gibeon sent word to Joshua in the camp. Do not abandon your servants. Come to us quickly. Save us. Help us. 
because the Amorite kings of the hill country have joined forces against us. So Joshua marched up to Gilgal with his entire army, including his best fighting man. Do not be afraid of them, for I am giving them, oh, the Lord speaking, not one of them will withstand you. Joshua took them by surprise, and the Lord threw them into confusion before Israel. Oh, this is the hailstorm one. As they fled before Israel on the road, down from Beth Horon to Israel, the Lord hurled large hailstones down on them, and they died from hailstorms. Then were killed by swords of Israelites. All right, so that's how Israel helps Gibeon. Sun stand still. On the day the Lord gave the Amorites over to Israel, Joshua said to the Lord, O sun, stand still over Gibeon, O moon, over the valley of Ajiadlom. So the sun stood still and the moon stopped, till the nation avenged itself on its enemies. The sun stopped in the middle of the sky and delayed going down about a full day. There has never been a day like it before or since, a day when the Lord listened to a man. Surely the Lord was fighting for Israel. The sun stood still. Conquering the south, conquering the north. It's a lot of fighting. I don't think I need to learn that. Dividing up the land. They divided up. I sure hope I don't have to know who they divided up to because that's a lot. Covenant renewal at Shechem. That's important. Joshua, huh, allotment for Benjamin, towns for the Levites. <sighs> Eastern tribes. Here we go, covenant renewal at Shechem. Shechem. Summon the elders. Where did they have the Passover? Gilga, Gilga. And now we're at Shechem. They renewed the covenant. Long ago, your forefathers, including Terah, the father of Abraham, and Noha, lived beyond the river and worshipped other gods. But I took your father Abraham from the land before the river and led him throughout Canaan and gave him many descendants. I gave him Jacob, and to Jacob I gave him Jacob. Mm. I gave him Isaac, and to Isaac I gave Jacob and Esau. I assigned the hill country of Seir to Esau, but Jacob and his sons went down to Egypt. Sent Moses and Aaron, brought you out of the land of Amorites who lived east of the Jordan. They fought against you. You crossed the Jordan, came to Jericho. Now fear the Lord and serve him with all faithfulness. Throw away gods your forefathers worship before the river. But if serving the Lord seems undesirable to you, then choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve. Then the people answered, Far be it for us to forsake the Lord and serve other gods. Joshua said to the people, You are not able to serve the Lord. He is a holy God. He is a jealous God. He will not forgive your rebellion and your sins. If you forsake the Lord and serve foreign gods, he will turn and bring disaster on you and make an end of you after he has been good to you. I think that would be a good verse for them to remember and teach their kids, maybe right on the wall. But the people said to Joshua, no, we will serve the Lord. Then Joshua said, you are witnessing against yourself that you have chosen to serve the Lord. Yes, we are witnesses. Now then, Joshua said, throw away the foreign gods that are among you and yield your hearts to the Lord of the God of Israel. And the people said to Joshua, we will serve the Lord our God and obey him. On that day, Joshua made a covenant for the people. And there at Shechem, he drew up the decrees and laws. Joshua recorded these things in the book of the law of God. He took a large stone and set it up there at the oak. See, he said to the people, this stone will be a witness against us. It has heard all the words the Lord has said to us. It will be a witness against you if you are untrue to God. And I need to memorize. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we are gonna serve the Lord. Calls me for his stone. And he lives me, lives me. But the world I know. God is in the house, there is no doubt. 
God is in the house, can't keep him out. As for you, as for you, as for me, as for me, we are gonna serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord.